there are many aspects to being yourself and for Pranitha Reddy, this includes being a wife, mother, entrepreneur and travel blogger. This all helps to make her a fascinating individual and earn her a place among this year's Mrs. South Africa finalists. Kriya met up with Pranitha to fill in the details. Also representing the City of Gold, Pranita Reddy. The holder of the Mrs. South Africa title for 2017 will be selected later this year. But we can say with certainty that Pranita Reddy is among the top 25 finalists. She's a woman of many parts who excels in just about anything she sets her mind on. And she's a self-confessed travel addict. A blog chronicles how she jets around the world for business and pleasure. But she took a break from her many commitments to spend time with Korea at one of her favorite downtown venues in Josie. As a woman, you always have to juggle multiple things and today's guest does exactly that. She's a business owner, a mom, a wife and a travel blogger. Today I get to spend the day with her and do something that I absolutely love doing and that's exploring. Pranita, how, how are you? you? How are you? Good on yourself. Good, thanks. Pranita, this place is amazing. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite places to hang out. I just love the ambiance. I love the people. Just the entire atmosphere is amazing. Okay, well, I want to explore a little more. Shall we go? Awesome, let's yeah. go. The gallery presents an eclectic portfolio of artifacts from Africa and the East, which appeals to the cosmopolitan tastes that Pranita has developed over the course of her travels. Oh, wow. Pranita, how did you fall in love with traveling? At 21, I got the opportunity to travel overseas. We went to Italy. I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with the people, the culture, the food, the language. And I promised myself that I would never stop traveling. And I haven't since then. Well, speaking of traveling, what's on the cards for us today? We've got some really exciting stuff lined up, but it's all a surprise for you. So you're just going to have to hang in there and watch as it unfolds. Cool. Well, let's get going. Pranita had Korea guessing, but things began to fall into place when they arrived in the heart of Santon. It's actually one of my nicest bars listed. It is very nice. So Korea, do you like your surprise? I absolutely love my surprise. I thought you'd really enjoy something a bit more relaxing. I know that I'm used to doing skydiving and bungee jumping, but I thought today we're going to spend some quality girly time together. Yes, let's do it. Hello, Hello. Hello. how right. are you? Good. Good. Welcome to Renaissance Spa. You can come with me. Perfect. Perfect. A combination of soothing oil and expertly applied pressure soon eased all the stress and tension away. Feeling thoroughly revitalized, Priya and Pranita picked up their conversation at the poolside. Thank you so much for the massage. It was so nice. I feel so relaxed now. I'm so glad you liked it. I knew that this would be the perfect venue for you just to <laughs> kick back and relax. It's not all about spa days for you and chill time. You actually run your own business. I own a cross-border transport company and we do fuel and gas into neighboring countries like Zimbabwe, Zambia, Botswana, right up to the DRC. What advice would you give to young entrepreneurs? The most important thing I would tell them is to believe in themselves. Because in business, you're going to go through highs, you're going to go through lows. And when that first low hits you, you just got to remember that you've got to be determined and passionate and just face it with as much encouragement as you did when you began. Because that's what's going to get you through. And once you make it through that pivotal point, the sky's your limit. Well, we haven't reached our limit for today as of yet. What else are we doing? We are off to Fourth Avenue in Parkhurst. Ever heard of it? I'm very excited. I love Parkhurst and there's always something new to go see. Let's go! After a busy day and relaxing massage, the ladies had worked up an appetite and the manager had something special in store for them. Yay, food time! Yanni, how's it going? Okay, salsa. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much. So what are we expecting today? Well, we're expecting a nice little platter for two. We've got a little bit of everything on there for you guys. Burritos, some quesadillas, uh, jalapeno poppers and Mexican uh, meatballs as well. Well, I'm very excited and I am hungry. So shall we sit? Absolutely, let's go. Presentation was matched by the appetizing aromas.
Oh wow, this looks amazing. I can't wait to dig in. It is divine. You've actually been to Mexico. How was that experience? Yeah, Mexico is just amazing. I think it has something for everybody. The food is just amazing. And everyone speaks English. Renita's travels have opened new vistas and expanded her horizons literally. And in terms of her personal development, this in turn has helped her tackle a latest challenge. The next big adventure for you is the fact that you've entered Mrs. South Africa and you're a finalist. Mrs. South Africa is not the typical beauty pageant. It's actually a woman empowerment journey and that's why I entered. I want to be someone that can motivate, inspire and encourage women to believe in themselves. What else do you hope to achieve? Giving back to the needy has been on my list of things to do. Once a month we team up with uh, Family Care Ministries and my daughter and I bake cookies and cupcakes and my husband and I and daughter go and give out and join the feeding scheme in Brixton. Well, it's been so much fun spending time with you today. We got to eat some great food, see some amazing places, and of course got spoiled in the spa as well. And uh, we wish you the best of luck for Mrs. South Africa. It was such a pleasure, Kriya. I absolutely loved spending the day with you, and thank you so much.